Look out now, here we go again, announcing the play, What Do the Lonely Do for Christmas? This is a play you don't want to miss seeing. And to find out how to make your Christmas a joyful one, even though you might not have that special someone, this play will be performed here at the Roxy Theater in Franklin, Kentucky, located at 109 South Main Street. Admission for this play will be $20 per person. Refreshments will be at 4 o'clock p.m. and the play will begin at 5 o'clock p.m. You don't want to miss this amazing play being performed by these amazing set of casts. Featuring Tamara Gibbons, who is from Hendersonville, Tennessee, and she is a certified Christian life coach through National Association of Christian Counselors. And she plays the character of Allie. Next, we have Jane Lewis from Franklin, Kentucky. And she received her nursing degree at Western, and she wears many more hats. And she plays the character of Lizzie. And next, we have another native from Franklin, Kentucky, who is Flora Spencer. And she is the proud owner of Spencer's Sauce LLC. And she plays the role of Helen. Next, we have Makiba Lachey Bryan, who is the proud owner of Jazzy Jewels. And she is also a travel agent for Planet Net Marketing and she loves traveling, seeing the world, and blessing other people with income. She plays Mimi, the store clerk. And our last female roles are played by Tamara Lee. And she's from Antioch, Tennessee. And she plays Deborah, Carla, and Kendra. Our next character role of Timothy is played by Harold Lucas, who is from Nashville, Tennessee, and he is the proud owner and certified personal trainer of Lucas Fitness Studio. Ho, ho, ho. And next we have Nathaniel Downey, who is a 1980 state football champion. And... He is also retired from the U.S. Navy, and he's a veteran. He plays Santa Claus. And last but not least, our next male roles of Cedric and Lonnie are played by James Eric Bell, who is from Nashville, Tennessee. And he is a very hard worker. So come on out and join us for this amazing production. And don't forget to mark your calendar for this date of June the 10th, 2023. We are looking forward to seeing you all there. Merry Christmas. Hey, Lizzie. I guess I am. I don't really have a choice, now do I? Oh, girl, come on. We are gonna have some fun today. If you say so, I guess I can try to be a good follower since you're such a great leader. Mm -hmm. More like a sergeant <laughs> or a lieutenant. Yeah, we're in the army now. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> and I'm really that bad. Lighten up. It was just a joke. Mm, you said it was a joke, but sometimes she does feel like a correctional officer. <laughs> anyway, I picked up everything that I had on my list for the cooking class, y'all. I see. And so did I. By the time we get done cooking, Lizzie's going to learn how to cook these dishes. Girl, you're going to be cooking all the time. Hold on now. Don't be putting the cart before the horse. It's still too soon. Girl, you know you are so funny. I'm just saying, I ain't trying to be Martha Stewart or nothing up in here. And, and Mary, and what is, what is the other lady's Martha name? White. Betty Crocker, Martha White either. I really don't think you're going to have to worry about that. You just got started, so bear and grin it. You still have a long way to go. All right, ladies, enough. Come on, let's get started on something real simple. It's as easy for the first class. Good, I'm down with that. Mm, I know that anything easy is right up your alley. What you trying to say, Allie? Here we go, <laughs> ladies. This is a cooking class, not a wrestling match. Oh, did I say something to hurt your feelings? 
You know I didn't mean it. Mm. No shade taking girlfriend. Where's my drink? Now, ladies, let's get this first dish. All right. All right. Our first dish, oh, sorry. For our first dish, ladies, will be called Watergate Salad. Yeah. 